Hello everyone. Now I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks with CDC feathers. And this is very valuable material as you know, so I'm going to show you how to make use uh, make use of most of it. So let's go with a few a few things, shape, size, quality and how you can apply these feathers for different flies. I will show you different tricks how to make different flies and how to use CDC in each of these flies and make the best of it. Uh, by the end of the video I will show you two tricks with uh, some simple everyday uh, objects that you have at your home so you can use the 100% of your fly uh, or your CDC for your fly, sorry. So you'll just need a paper clip, you'll need hackle pliers, and you will need a little bit of foam. I'll teach you how to use those tricks to make these flies. So let's go. Wait till the end and you will see those two tricks. Uh, now I'm going to talk about CDC and its properties. So as you can see, uh, CDC can have different shapes, oval one, triangular one. There are a few more, but these are two basic ones in my opinion. So the oval one uh, is usually the biggest one and tri triangle one is uh, rather smaller. So uh, also you can see that uh, there is a different quality of CDC, decent good one, and then you can see those broken ones uh, with less barbules. So the, the point with CDC uh, apart from its oil is its structure. Uh, it has stem as any other feather, those uh, side barbules and those barbules are divided into each smaller bar barbules. I will show that in the photo. So those uh, barbules are very soft and delicate and they don't easily penetrate water but they actually hold our fly on the water very very good uh, and it's all due to the water resistance surface resistance that uh, this uh, feather creates so uh, of course uh, big feathers you're, go you're gonna use for bigger flies smaller for smaller flies that's very obvious and better quality feather means that you're going to use less feathers for each fly like poor quality you're going to use uh, two three four five six feathers for just one fly very good quality you're going, going to use one or two feathers for the fly depending on the style of the fly now i'm going to talk about applications for each feather so let's start with oval one uh, oval feather is uh, good for big flies sorry for the shaking for big flies such as this uh, stone fly uh, where it can use most of the feather as a wing. You can layer those feathers to achieve better uh, buoyancy of the fly of course. Uh, the other method is to remove the stem and put half or the whole feather into the dubbing loop and then just uh, use it as a dubbing loop or make legs or palmer fly use something whatever you like i will show you that right right away so you can make those legs in thorax thorax and legs immediately like it's just one step so with one step you you make thorax and legs uh, the next one is you can make parachute legs of course and you can make with both like triangular and oval you can make bubbled caddis that's more or less obvious I guess now next shape is triangular shape and let me show that one so triangular shape is like this there are two feathers here both same size uh, triangular shaped feather has all of those barbules long as and as you advance to the tip of the feather they get shorter so when you pull them back stroke them back they all align up here so you can make like very very nice caddis wing or mayfly wing here and you're going to use most of these barbules uh, as opposed to the oval feather 
where you're going to use just half of it because those barbules will you can't catch all of them there are a couple of applications of these feathers you can uh, use natural curvature of the feather like like so and make mayfly wings like on this fly you can also use the tips position them forward tie in somewhere in the middle but be careful to catch all of those barbules so use this as your wing length and when you tie it in with your tying thread pull both ends of the feather up like this so you're going to use both feathers almost 100% and that's best viewed on this fly here so you can see I have sp have split wing technique here and butt ends of the feather and tip ends of the feather so it's very very good fly and it floats like a cork you can use just tips of the feather, align them, and use tips. One second, sorry. So, fold it forward and make shuttlecock imitation. Just put it tight in like this. I, I combined two feathers here, like white one and gray one, so I can improve visibility on this tiny fly. That's next one. You can make Cat is like this, of course. Again, I use triangle, triangular shaped feather, and I use just two feathers, which is, if you have decent quality on most flies, it's more than enough to use just two feathers for one fly. Uh, you can use it uh, for this one, sorry. So I use, of course, larger feather just half of it and the other half you can put here put it in a dubbing loop and make legs then you can use most of your feather like that and finally you can remove the stem and make bubble here and make very delicate fly so the next trick I'm going to show you you need a piece of foam cut like this halfway, paper clip, dubbing needle. And you need just one old feather or two, you can combine this with a partridge if you like. So you put a old feather in the slot, press it down with a dubbing needle, and that's more or less it. Now catch everything with paper clip, open the foam, and you have your feather ready. Okay, like this. Use your scissors to cut CDC near the stem, like so. You can see that's very near. Okay, sorry. Now you can use this as a material for dubbing loop, where you can prepare something like this, make legs and thorax at once. And I used it for this fly too dubbing loop and I made thorax and uh, legs at the same time again it's very lively and it's very good you can also use this for palmering flies and finally you can remove the stem and make bubble here and make very delicate fly so let me show you how to make these things so first of all I'm not going to use any uh, expensive tools just hackle pliers paper, cl paper clip plastic one this one I've been using for like 10 years already and a little bit of foam so first of all you can use your low quality feather like this for example and you can make uh, some colors for your nymphs if you like you need to use squared tip uh, heckle pliers in order to prevent slipping of the feather. Take the very tip of your feather like this and then hold it. I'm right-handed so I have to do it like this. So 
place each rep beneath the previous one. Sorry, it's very difficult with the phone in front of me. So place each rep in front uh, below the previous one and do tight reps like this. Okay, when you reach the end, hold it with your finger, don't let it slip. Open your uh, hacker plier and then you have to pinch it together and fold together like this. Now you have barb over here and you can just remove it with scissors. Okay, and you have CDC without stem here, which you can use in fly like this, for example. Tying butt ends over here, fold it forward and then fold it backwards again. Indestructible and yet very soft. And as you can see, I've used most of the feather. So this would be more or less uh, the scratch of the surface when it comes to tying with CDC and flies that you can tie with CDC. In my future videos I will show you how to apply some of these techniques. Maybe I will introduce you to some more. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share. And guys, see you next time.